Hey everyone, it is me Knut here and today I'm bringing a brand new video out to you guys and we're going to be talking about how to secure your NFTs on a hardware wallet. So this is really good for you if you have multiple NFTs worth thousands of dollars and you're looking for a way to protect against attacks, you know, either somebody hacking into your uh, computer remotely uh, and then really controlling your screen and being able to execute an attack that way and just steal your Ethereum. So this is a really good way to keep your funds safe, your crypto, but also your NFTs while you're doing that. So I'm gonna be talking about how to use the Trezor wallet. I just have the basic one specifically to protect your NFTs. So without a further ado, let me jump into the video. So I just connected my treasure here as you can see my pin screen so the biggest problem people have is once they have their treasure and once they've unlocked it they're like hey um, I can't see my NFTs anywhere here how do I access them or um, what do I do to enter these in and really the simple answer is that you don't you don't use your treasure suite in order to do that there isn't any way to really view your NFTs on the treasure suite that I know of we're going to show you the workaround essentially to using your treasure in order to store your NFTs so the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that you have a MetaMask account set up your MetaMask wallet and if you don't know how to do that uh, feel free to look it up it's pretty simple and easy I actually have a video that I did two videos ago on how to to set up your MetaMask wallet. Um, so go ahead and check that out if you want. So once you have your MetaMask wallet set up and good to go, even if you have your main wallet, that's good to go. You're basically gonna go here and go connect hardware wallet. So once you've connected your hardware wallet, you can click on any of the hardware wallets you wanna use. Usually use just one, I'm on the my fifth here. So go ahead and use your Trezor one or Trezor two, Trezor five, whatever you want, really doesn't matter. Just go ahead and use one of those. All right, so once you have that, you're gonna go over to OpenSea and you're basically gonna use your MetaMask wallet here. So this is my other one, but you're gonna go here um, and you're gonna switch your profile over to this. So you're gonna see maybe Trezor 1, you're gonna to wanna to hit connect here. Mine's Trezor 5, so let me refresh now. All right, so you can see my profile here has nothing. It's completely blank. And really from here, you can buy or sell any NFT, right? So you're pretty much set up and you're pretty much good to go, right? So a lot of people will say, hey, I've disconnected my wallet, but um, this is awkward because I can still get in everywhere. I can go to my MedMask account, I can log in. As you can see, I'm holding my Trezor wallet right here, but that really won't get you too far. And this is why the security aspect really comes in. So. When you actually go here to your MetaMask account, and I'm gonna switch over to my other one, um, my Trezor one, mainly because this is the one with an NFT in it right now. You're basically gonna go here, and uh, as you can see, I have this these nuts right here, all right? So if you have this, you're basically gonna see how the security aspect comes in, because anytime you use an action on OpenSea, so if you buy, sell, cancel, anything that requires your wallet to sign off on it, you have to then enter your pin on your treasure. So as an example, I'm gonna show how I'm going to lower the price. So when I lower the price, I'm going to say 0 0.75, set new price. And as you can see, I'm gonna sign. And here is where it pulls up the sign Ethereum message. And as you can see, I have to connect my treasure to continue, which means hey, there's an issue here, we're not gonna be able to uh, do that. And so this is really how it looks for pretty much any action you're gonna take. So if it's buying, selling, or transferring your NFT, it might look like you will, but you really won't get very far by uh, having your treasure disconnected. And so that's why it really protects is because once the treasure is connected, you're gonna have to enter your pin in order to sign off on that request from MetaMask. All right, so let's say you wanted to get your NFT uh, and be able to display it and view it on your hardware wallet on MetaMask. Um, that's not that hard. All you're gonna do, as you can see here, I have the one NTS, which is one D's nuts. Um, and you're gonna go to import tokens here and you're gonna go to custom token um, and you're just gonna steal this token contract address here. Uh, you're gonna go to etherscan if you click on that and you're gonna paste it here. So as you can see, it's already been added. But then basically you can just kind of fill in the blanks here and use one um, because there's one NFT each. So um, it's not divisible by more than one or less than one, it's just one. So go ahead and do that. And then once you do all that, you should be able to find it right in here. Um, and it'll pop up under your assets. Everything you need to do that should be in the Etherscan. If you don't, uh, feel free to comment down below if you're having issues with that. 
But um, MetaMask doesn't have too many benefits to be able to view it in here, but that is basically, it just kind of helps you see, oh, okay, I have this token right here, or uh, it gives you a quicker access to view everything instead of going through OpenSea if you want to do that. So that is it, everybody, for this video. I hope you did enjoy and learn something. Again, if you did learn anything, please give this video a thumbs up uh, and let me know what you think. If you have any issues or any problems or any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to that um, and I'll let you guys know if I have any solutions for you. But yeah, guys, this should be a pretty straightforward process for hooking up your Trezor to store your NFTs on. Without further ado, guys, I'm signing off. I'll see you next time. Bye.